searching for the answer to our trials. We came so far through our weakness. We found the love even the stars between us won't bury us. One day we can be together. And this moment could last forever. A stone, dear Cora. Full made of stone. Mm. No, it was a stone. Is that a stone? Huh? Why can't protect and work up with pepper and salt? Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Today I'm here with my brand new vlog that you might like it. As I promised earlier that I am going to come back with a very interesting vlog that is all about Cherokee Native Indians. So here I am. I firmly believe that you all will like it. Cherokee Nation is the largest tribe in the United States. In North Carolina, there is one historic town called Cherokee. And this uh, scenic small town in the Smoky Mountain offers many local shops, cafes, and historic places showing the history of the Native American that lived here. I'm not almost too last to you. Put my shoes down there and my sock is in here. And the socks to put it from the oven. What about my shoe? I said, shoot on the ladder, but socks to put it on. I'm back on this white thing. That's what I'm going to eat. My cookie screen. Do you think I'm going to bear the kitchen? Yeah, I'm going to bear the kitchen. Quite a bear, the kids will A mama bear and a baby bear, two bears. Two bears? Or a key coat, chilo? Um, I am now. You don't know? No. To me, you can take us to talk on key coat, chilo. I think I need to move the snow. Move coat, chilo? No. Food at your no? Other food. Hmm. <laughs> Who told you, Nanin? Allah. Allah? Indian village Okana Lufti te amra pounche gachi to ekhon chola jabo bhitore je guided tour ta neya hoyeche seta kotokkhon shomoyer ba kibhabe tara tour ta korabe shob kichui details amar video te thakche. The Okana Lofte Indian village in Cherokee, North Carolina is a replica of an 18th century Eastern Cherokee community. Guided courses are 45 minutes and afterwards there's two lectures, they're about 15 minutes each. So if you stay for those, you'll be here about an hour and a half. Thank you. Guide tech visitor through the village explaining the history and culture of the Cherokee and also demonstrate the making of idioms such as arrowheads, baskets and blowguns. Alright guys, this is our basket station and we use three different materials to make our baskets. So the first that I'll talk about is white up. That's what she's working with and that's what he's working with as well. So what we do is we have to get the white oak at the perfect time. Otherwise it's unusable. So Another we get the material we use is hickory bark. 
and this basket is made out of hickory bark and it has also been here since the village first opened so it's about 70 years old so they hold up pretty well we also use river cane we also have to be very careful when we use river cane because when it's very thin it can be very sharp so yeah and what we do is we get it and we cut it in half and then into handle. quarter and we i would whoa we would actually have to weave the basket around the handle itself and if the handle were to break you would have to take apart the entire basket just to replace it just like these hanging up here what we do is we pick up one bead at a time and sew it onto the next that will allow the thread to pass through every bead twice so if the belt breaks few beads will be lost and the belt can be easily made for leggings and the borders of the women's skirts and dresses to make larger pieces of pottery because at one point in time we did use the pottery to cook with and to make our pottery waterproof we would take a corn cob and place it in the center and throughout the burning process that corn cob will release natural oils which that will then make a lot of smoke and that smoke is actually what gives it the nice dark colors that you see here and for these lighter colors we use hardwoods, which produce more flame rather than smoke. And here is a bowl that's also made out of a gourd. And for our eating utensils, before metal tools came along, we would have used a Due to COVID situation a karone, akun kar j tutta kora hai, sheta onik kichu shimitu kora hoetse, jegulo hato bigoto bachur onik kichu dekhano hoto, to ami othome eshe e shop kichu dekhe, ami expect kore chilam jaro details dekte parbo, to jato toko perechi, dekhar chista korechi, ebang apna dekhe dekhano chista korechi. Once we were able to get metal tools, our eating utensils began looking a lot like the things that we all use nowadays. And this here is our gardening, larger or smaller size, depending on the size hole we need in our needle or pipes. And traditionally, this would be made with stone. दर्शक आज के रिव्यू ब्लॉग टाइप ही नो भावे उपस्थापन करा हुए थे। अमर जे इस पहले उठ सब्सक्राइबर हुए थे न देशे एवं देशे बाहरे तादे बुझार शुभिदार थे इंग्लिशे एवं बांग्ला शब्द किच्छ बनाना करा हुए थे। so the first is our single weave, and this is a simple over and under method that we use to create check and plaid designs. The second is the double weave, and it gives us a greater variety of designs, like the um, double diamond, dancing eagle, and lightning bolt designs. And this um, technique is similar to working on a loom, except it's all done by hand. And our third and oldest technique, which is what she's working on today, is called oblique. And as you can see here, we use beads to create the design. Very few people know how to do this technique today. And she can work with 10 to 200 strands of yarn at a time. And this red and black piece is a small example of 200 strands. Okano Lufti Gramti Teshe, Cherokee Indian, the Shikha, Shamskriti, Shamaji Molobot, Jibon, Ebong Boiri Poribeshe, Nijiki Tiki Rakar Jono, J. Shanathon, Koshul Gulutara, Bolombon Kore, to Ishop Kichu Jene Shoti Kobi Muktu Hechiani. It was used for warfare. Although the bows and arrows weren't our preferred method of combat, if we needed to use them, we definitely would because. The way that this arrowhead is made, it will not come out the same way it went in. So if it enters your body, you either have to push it all the way through or cut it out. And if the arrowhead were to hit bone, it is made out of obsidian, so it would shatter. And if you just left it alone, that sinew would be mixed with the blood and then it would expand in your body. Bare intestines, and each of our bows would have been the height of the person using them. They also would have been made to that person's strength. So if you wanted a bow or needed one, you would have to make it yourself. And just a little fun fact, these bows were normally about seven feet tall because that's how tall the Cherokee people were at one point in time, including the women. So, 
Next, I'll talk about our blowgun, which is back here. We make our blowguns out of river cane, and what we do is we harvest it and let it dry out completely. Once it's dried out, as you can see, it is a little bit wavy, so we have to straighten it. And to do that, we heat it up section by section and roll it along our knees, and that will then straight it, straighten it up. <laughs> And then once it's straightened, we have to knock the joints out on the inside. And to do that, we use a tool like this. It's just an arrowhead on a smaller piece of mountain cane or river cane. But once we were able to get metal tools, we would have used something like those metal rods over there. As you can see, it is kind of an L shape. So, but that's just so that you guys can see the inside and how it really works. It would normally be a U shape. So that bear has only one way in and one way out. <laughs> So, basically the same thing, but the animal does it itself. Then that last one there is our fish trap. It's made almost entirely out of river cane, and it would be placed downstream so that the fish swim in one if you plan to visit North Carolina, you should definitely stop by at Cherokee and check out American Native Art and History. I strongly recommend the Indian Village, Museum, and the Outdoor Drama onto these hills. Look at all those plants. Cherokee people normally use those plants for natural remedy. We belong to our medicine people, so they acted as our hospitals. If anyone was sick, they'd take them inside and lie them down and roll those large stones out in the center. And then those stones would be heated up and rolled back in, and an herbal tea would be poured over top that would create a vapor to help the Indian War as well as the Revolutionary War. And you'll notice the logs are still rounded. They're not squared off at the edges either. And there's also a whole lot of clay packed in between them. And this clay is mixed with fibers and animal fur just so that it lasts longer and is more sturdy. This behind me is our 1750s cabin. So as you can see, the logs are no longer round. They're also squared off at every corner. And there is this nice little porch here. And this is because during this time, we had a lot more time to work on our houses, so we didn't have to put them up so quickly. And the chimney is pretty much the same. As you can tell, there was a lot more time spent on it. But yeah, pretty much the same as before. Play on the inside of that wood to avoid it. living in these when Hernando de Soto came through the area. You'll notice there is a lot of that clay and fibrous mixture on the outside. It's the exact same as we saw at the previous cabin, so it's just a lot more of it. The way that these were constructed though is we would take in over half a million buckskins a year. <laughs> and to buy a gun starting out, the traders would ask for enough buckskins to be the same height as the gun, but once we figured out they were just kind of scamming us, we started cutting pockets into our buckskins and filling them with sand so that they'd have a lot more height. We chased them out of town real quick and we started getting... G village is here. It's a Cherokee village. So, this is the village. We are going to see what we are going to see. Let's see. This is the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's our nice little thing. And she'd take you with her. And you know, you'd be like, oh, she's so nice. And then she'd use her sharp finger and cut out your liver and eat it, and you'll die. So, gotta listen to your parents or spear finger's gonna get you. I heard this story called Magadona. What did she say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Food box, and then in this, when school's about to start up, there's school supplies for kids who can't really afford them. So we just really like to take care of each other around here. And if we can help in any way, we definitely will. But does anyone have any questions? Oh, it's just to show how it was made. Kind of the same as the 15 people. Um, 
we like to trade for silk ribbon, silver, and beads. And a little fun fact, the women weren't usually the ones that would have to dress up and wear all kinds of jewelry and look pretty for the men. The men had to look pretty for the women. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> so it was kind of the opposite way. Like the yep, it was the men who had to wear all the jewelry and try and impress the ladies rather than us doing so much. <laughs> and another thing that we like to trade for was cloth. And that's because before we had the cloth, we just wore leather and that was hard to keep clean and keep up with and very, very hot in the summer months. So the um, cloth kept us much cooler. We also traded for brass pots and pans and cookware. Well, if you'd like, I actually have a lecture in here so you can finish your tour and then you get to come in here and I get to tell you about everything in here. Yeah. The realization this is something our medicine just could not cure. Now, during our dances, our dancers enter from the east and dance in a counterclockwise direction. This is to represent the rotation of the earth. Now, as we dance, we'll be led by a lead dancer. Traditionally, that dancer by a mask to represent the dance being done. This is the type of mask we had before European arrival and the introduction of metal tools. Due to COVID situation a carone, a village doctor, on a kitchen shankip to Karahuese, Jegulo Hoto Aki, on a kitchen, on a bissari to Hodakano Hoto, Tarporo Amra Jadikichi, Tate, on a kitchen jante peretsi, on a kitchen share pulam up another shate, up Nado Janta Barben, Ba Jodi video to Sheshpojunto Dakin, on a kitchen, Jena Jaben, Cherokee, Indian there, Shampurke, are AJ Etate, lasted Hukla, Metahochecta, a souvenir shop. তো এখান থেকে তাদের বানানো কিছু জিনিস সাথে করে নিয়ে যাব থেকে যাবে এটা স্মৃতি সারা জীবন আমার সাথে দর্শক ব্লগে শেষ পর্যায়ে চলে এসেছি কেমন লাগলো ব্লগটা জানাবেন অবশ্যই জানলে আমিও খুশি হব আর ভালো থাকবেন সবাই যে যেখানেই আছেন আল্লাহ হাফেজ